Well guys, it's Kieran or Killer Kizza HD here, and welcome back to the Trades Right. This is the final episode of Season 5, and we face off against Tottenham in the Premier League. And let's go speak about the fixtures. So in the last episode, we um, faced off against QPR in the FA Cup semi-final, and we lost to them, and it's not, I don't want to speak about it, just blank it from your memory, okay? So in the game after that, game that never happened. Um, we beat West Ham 2-0 with Steve Cook and Dan Crowley getting the goals in this game. We were very, very good in this game, especially possession-wise. Um, we played a weaker side eventually. We played um, DeMont for this game, who did actually get injured, which was pain in the ass. Um, West Ham actually been, ain't been doing too well, so we'll just speak back in a second as well when we look at the league table. In the next game, we were away to Newcastle, and we drew 2-2 in a very, very fun game to play. Dan Crowley started us off on the 70th minute of a penalty to um, give us the 1-0 lead, and I was thinking, okay, right, this is quite good. It was a good penalty. It's top left Dan Corner, Dan Crowley scored, he didn't really score this season, so this is quite good. Um, but in the 49th minute, just after half time, Remy Cabela um, equalised for Newcastle to make it 1 1. Now, I was thinking, okay, Newcastle are looking to get into this, so I switched it back from control to counter, and Danny Ings scored to make it 2 1. I was like, brilliant, this is amazing. But Cabela scored in the 71st minute to make it 2 2, and that was how the game ended. In the next game, we were at home to Manchester City and we lost um, 2 1. Man City were quite good in this game, but we did play quite well. It was just a case of Man City taking their chances, really. Um, Ross Barkley scored just for half time, it was a, you know, it was one of the trademark Ross Barkley goals where he hits it from like just outside the area. And it's an absolute peach. So he scored to make it one 0 but we came back after half time and got a penalty, which Luis Alberto scored to make it one one. But Douglas Costa um, scored in the 84th minute to make it two one to give Manchester City the win. And the final game before we speak about the Tottenham game is um, we drew nil nil at Anfield against Liverpool, um, the team obviously we lost against in the Europa League um, round of 16. I did what we did last time when we went there and uh, just went counter and we didn't lose three nil, which was great, and um, we just played counter. I didn't even play a different side than really to the one we lost in the Europa League, so I don't know, maybe they weren't concentrating as much, but um, we got a point out of that game. So this is how the league table looks as the final game of the season prepares. We are in the Champions League next year. Bournemouth are in the Champions League for the first year in their history. Nothing is going right for the teams at the bottom, because Fulham, Stoke and Burnley are already going down, and the top four teams are already getting Champions League, so this final game, this final day, is basically pointless unless you care about Arsenal and Man United getting Europa League and Liverpool already being champions because they're going to beat whoever they're playing which is West Ham who are a ninth. Top scorer is Ennis Unil, our arch rival. 32 goals this season. Unbelievable. Memphis Depay is just behind with 29 goals which is also unbelievable. Um, Unil has got the most high ad highest average rating with 7.69. Eden Hazard with the most assists with 15 but Juan Atabi is on that list with 12. Most player to match award it goes to Unil with 10 uh, man of the matches. We've got Couture with most clean sheets 18 and Johnny Halson with 15 yellow cards a season. Boy, he likes to tackle. So, because um, we got into the Champions League, we were given our budget and we have been given £25 million. It's okay. I think I can work with it. I'm looking at a couple of players to bring in. I've been scouting here and there. Mohamed Besic is one of the players I'm looking to bring in. Um, I'm looking to bring in the defensive midfielder because obviously Perlo wants to go and, you know, Pio isn't getting any better for. Um, he isn't really getting any better now, and Dan Crowley obviously needs to develop worse as well, but so he's quite good still. So I'm looking to bring in maybe Bessic, maybe Carvalho, um, Carvalho, sorry, um, Romero. I've also been looking at a defender to um, replace Steve Cook, because he's obviously um, starting to drop a bit. Jonathan Tarr was scouted once again from Liverpool, even though they're not going to let us have him. Dragovic, perhaps. I'm looking to probably bring in an English defender, maybe John Stones can be quite good. And in terms of, a, like, maybe an attacking option, because, you know... We've got all these strikers injured. Harry Kane, Danny Ings, and Lorik Benteke. We don't need to look at ben a striker, but Danny Ings has been requesting to leave as of late. He wants first team football, even though he's getting loads since Harry Kane's been injured. I'm looking at Raheem Sterling, but he's worth £34 million and he's ridiculous. Um, Carlos Fierro, perhaps, but then that's just that's unrealistic and very, very um, FM of me. Maybe Balotelli, I don't know, we'll go um, speak about that in the next episode anyway, which will be season 6 starting. I can't believe we've got 6 seasons done already, it's crazy. So in terms of stats, most appearances for the club is Kevin Wimmer, 41 appearances. pre drag Rakovic has 41 as well. Most goals is Joel Campbell time with Harry Kane for 13 goal season, which is, to be honest, for a team who's finished 4th and looking to probably get into the Champions League, we are. Um, we need to be getting more goals, maybe we need to look at uh, bringing a new striker. But then saying that, Ke Harry Kane has been injured for like 5 months now. Most assist is Jack Grealish with 18 assists. The boy has been on a mission this year, the um, Irish 23-year-old. He has been phenomenal. Highest average rating is Joel Campbell, followed by Harry Kane. Just month this season, even though he's only played 9 games, has been absolutely phenomenal. So these are the fixtures. you got Watford and West Ham on telly versus Chelsea and West Ham, um, Liverpool respectively. It's Liverpool and Chelsea on telly because um, Chelsea 
Chelsea need to win and need Liverpool to lose, basically. And Chelsea need to win by, I think, my three goals or more to go to the final, to um, to be champions. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't, doesn't affect me, really. If I win some uh, against Tottenham and then Newcastle somehow beat Man City, I'd li- uh, maybe I'll get third place and don't have to play the qualifier, which would be great. You've got Arsenal, Hull, us versus Tottenham, Everton, Stoke, Fulham, Swansea, Manchester United, Southampton, Newcastle, Manchester City, Norwich, Burnley, Burnley already down, uh, Reading, Leicester, Watford, Chelsea, and West Ham versus Liverpool. Now let's get into the teams. So this is what the team is going to be looking like for this game against Tottenham. We have Rajkovic in goal, Chambers in right back, and the two centre back spots we've got Cook and Wimmer, we've got Munoz in left back. Payot as a ball in midfielder, Crowley as the deep line playmaker, Eterbe on the wing as a supporter, Grealish on the left as a winger on attack, we've got Quintero as an attacking midfielder in support, and Danny Ings as a poacher. To get this game underway, on the bench we've got Jordan Holmes, Guillermo, Guillermo Zwicker, I couldn't pronounce his name then, Gustavo Carballo, Andrea Perlo, potentially his last game for the club, Alvarez, Josh Damont and Lorik Benteke. Campbell won't be playing, he's very unhappy and I'm not going to play him if he's unhappy, Luis Alberto's not playing just because I want to give Perlo a game. Um, Ibrahim obviously on the way back soon, which is great. I'm looking forward to seeing how he does. Um, if I can bring him back and then spend Teke out on loan, that'd be fantastic. So here is Tottenham starting eleven: Destro, Delgado, Lamella, Nechum, Deli Ali, Malumbu, Ben Davis, the Tongan, Fazio, Klein, and Loris in gold. On the bench they've got Vorm, Kazua, Baba, Carlos Aveya, Danny Parejo, um, Shirachet, and Kapue. Let's look at Destro, he's 28 years old, um, how's he doing? 27 appearances, 8 goals and 2 assists, not too good. Um, let's have a look at how uh, Deli Ali is doing, because I know he's bloody good, because he's costly I'm England manager. 12 appearances, yeah, he's not doing well, who is he? I'm was going to call him up as well. And Lamella, let's have a look at Lamella, see how he's doing, 27 years old, still playing for Tottenham, and he is having a decent looking season, to be fair, 11 assists isn't too bad. Now let's get in to this final game of the season. Tottenham kick off this game at Dean Court, can we pick up a win against Tottenham? It would be nice, it would be nice to finish off the season with a win, let's do it, pie up. To a turbo, gets tackled by Ben Davis. Crowley's on the ball, he puts it to Quintero. Danny Ings, that's 1 0. Is that offside? That's not offside, 1 0. That's a great start. 60 minutes in, it feels like, you know, I say good start. 60 minutes in, but let's see the highlight. A turbo gets tackled by Ben Davis. Crowley with his blue boots passes it off to Quintero, who plays a lovely little free ball to Danny Ings, who takes a, doesn't even take a touch, just gets it past the keeper. 1 0. Grealish on the left hand side, he's going to whip it in the mixer to Quintero. Oh, Laurie's with the save. Grealish takes a touch again. A turbo! 2 0. We are dominating this game really well so far. 2 0. Juan Aterbe in the 23rd minute to make it 2 0 to Bournemouth. Come on. Quintero heads it. Laurie's with a fantastic save. Grealish puts it back in, and a turbo gives a nice header past Laurie's to make it 2 0. We're doing really well here. And that is half time, and we are playing fantastically I'm gonna give him an assertive I'm very happy the way things are going keep it up lads um, in terms of fitness Dan Crowley might have to look, come off at some point but that's probably it I'm bring on Perlo for him let's get to the second half and see if we can steal the deal probably with this uh, another goal you know we're not, we're on, it's the final game of the season get another goal please it'd be lovely Ben Davis with the throw into Kapue back to Ben Davis Deli Ali now gets tackled and Quintero's on the ball he tries to get to Danny Ings but Fazio intercepts Malumbu Steve Cook intercepts lovely bit defending there Chambers to a turbo, what can we do? He passes it off to Quintero, puts it to Danny Ings, the Tongan gets in the way. Delgado can break the Tottenham here. Puts it to Destro, Destro tries to get a shot off, and we do very well in defensive there. Kapue to Deli Ali, Destro, Chambers is doing really well today. Piot, can we get away with this? It's another highlight, okay. Rajkovic tries to get to Grealish, Fazio has it, Dan Crowley to Grealish. Is he going to get past this man? He's not, he's going to lose the ball, and Wimmer, oh Wimmer, oh Wimmer, Delgado gets past. Oh, that was just disgusting. That, what even kind of defending was that? It's 2 1. That was, oh, I'm livid. I can't believe that's just gone in. What the hell is that? Wimmer, mate, what are you doing? And Rajkovic, mate, you're faster than that. You can get past him and you can kick it easily. Come on, really. That's a bit ridiculous. It's Herbe. Running past this man to Quintero. Who puts it to Dan Crowley. Back to Eterbe on the right hand side. He's going to try and get past the man to Quintero. What's he going to do? Gets tackled. Crowley with the ball. Danny Ings. We got a penalty. Well. What can I say, really? Dan Crowley's going to take it, I think, and it's going to make it 3 1, I hope. Um, we're doing really well. It's just the defensive bit there was quite scary. Crowley puts it down in the corner. Lovely goal. 3 1. Come on. He's on a yellow card, Dan Crowley. I might have to take him off the polo at some point. He, that's a lovely penalty. Bottom corner. Lovely low drive. 3 1. Straight highlight from kickoff here. Delgado to Dastro. Uh, Kapue, Ali, Vatongan, Malumbu. Uh, they're going to get a straight goal. Please don't get a straight goal. Delgado puts it to Dastro. Delgado, what a save Rajkovic, what a bloody save that was. We are making our first change of the game, we are bringing off Dan Crowley for Andrea Perlo. Um, let's give him a proper send off, I don't know if he's staying next season, he's like, you know, I gave him one season here just to send him off and give him a bit of a BPL football. Don't know if he's going to stay, we'll bring on DeMont for Quintero as well, we're 3-1 up, let's just bring on the players. Delgado with the corner, whips it in, Wimmer heads it clear. 
And as far as Ben Davis, he gets it out to Delgado. Nitchum with the head, oh, that brings it down. It's 3 2. It's, um, it's the fifth goal of the season for another Nitchum. It's a good goal. Ben Davis puts it to Delgado, who brings it in. Nitchum, mate, he brought that down really nicely. Rajkovic can't get to it. 3 2. Goal kick. Rajkovic kicks it to Danny Ings. Kapue heads it. Nitchum, Payot at Ali to Kapue, who puts it to Delgado. Ball, ball out of Destro on the left hand side, tries to get through his man, great save by Rajkovic, gets to Grealish, can we break here, Grealish, he can't. We're going to make our final change of the game for the season, it's our final change of the season, we're going to take off Alex Munoz, uh, put Wemmel on the left hand side, bring on Gustavo Carballo, uh, it's our final change of the season, we need to be keep, like holding this victory now, it'll be nice to see what's going on, I'm, I'm not even looking at the other results, so I don't know if Man City are losing, they're probably not, Liverpool are probably winning and... Win the league. Let's have a look in a bit. Chambers to Cook. Back to Chambers. It's Herbie gets to it now. We're going to pass it around a bit. Perlo gets the ball through. Dumont with a fantastic bar um, pass to Grealish. Perlo tries to put it to Wimmer but Klein intercepts Delgado and Tottenham are going to break. Carlos Vella. Chambers of a great piece of defender. Deli Ali. Oliver Nitschum. What a bloody goal that was. 3 3. What a game. What a final end of season game. Vella. Is that offside though? They were saying about offside on the bottom thing. Ah, uh, no, that's not offside. I can see that already. I don't know why we're appealing. That's not offside. Uh, 85 minutes in. Carlos Vela to Ben Davies. Deli Ali is going to bring it in. Delgado to Vela. Vela to Deli Ali has a shot. Delgado. Fucking hell. Are you joking? We're losing now. Are you mad? Are we. What? Vela. He's been running us ragged since he came on. Deli Ali with a shot. Rajkovic parries it. Delgado scores. We're going to attack him. We're going to go for a goal. And that's it. I'm guessing that's it. 10 seconds, 5 seconds left. It's going to be the final game of the season and we lose. Grealish, Klein gets the ball in. We lose 4-3 on the final day of the season at home to Tottenham. Um, I think we played quite well, but again, I'm guessing it's just, you know, it's the final game of the season. Nothing we could do. Tottenham were the better side in terms of statistics going on shots on target. Liverpool win the title. Um, Arsenal finish 5th, Manchester United in 6th, Tottenham don't get move anywhere, they um, lose out on the Europa League due to goal difference, they need to score 20 goals against us to go to the Europa League, so unlucky mate. Let's go have a look at the detail with Philly. <laughs> so, Liverpool are champions, Chelsea finish in 2nd, Manchester City in 3rd, we finish 4th with 69 points, Arsenal finish in 5th with 68 points, Manchester United in 6th with 67, Tottenham miss out in Europa League due to goal difference, um, Burnley, Stoke and Fulham go down on the final, um, they don't go down the final day because they're already down anyway. Um, that's it for the season. Let's go and have a look at some other stuff really quickly. So, other league tables in England. Um, QPR, Aston Villa and Sunderland are coming up. That's boring, isn't it, really? Aston Villa come back up with Charlie Austin as the top scorer and Ruben Jensen getting good assists for him. QPR come up as champions. Sunderland beat um, Derby in the playoffs. Peterborough, Sheffield United and Rotherham are going down. In League One, Brighton, MK Dons and Luton Town are coming up to the championship with Scunthorpe, Exeter, Portsmouth and York City going to League Two. In terms of League Two, Fleetwood are going up as champions after winning the title on goal difference against Bury. Uh, Wickham uh, go up with Bury as well and Colchester go through after winning the playoff final. Oldham and Accrington Stanley are going down to the Conference, National League I think it's called now. In terms of League on in um, France, PSG killed it once again, 90 points, they are absolutely killing it. And Marseille finished in second with 70 points, Bordeaux in third, getting Champions League, um, Lyon finishing in fourth with Monaco in fifth, the teams going down are, I think that's Stad Can, um, Amains and Gwynap. And in terms of going up into League One, we've got Havre Athletic, um, Nice and Clement Foot going up with Dijon, USBCO and Ajaccio going down into the third division. So, um, the Bundesliga, Bayern Munich win again after um, finishing on 75 points. Leverkusen, Dortmund and Schalke getting the uh, Champions League spots. You have Red Bull, Leipzig, Cologne and Nuremberg getting Europa League with Frankfurt and Freiburg going down. And Hertha Berlin in the playoffs against Hamburg. Who will be coming up? I don't know. Let's find out later in another episode. I don't know. I don't care. So there is one more game left to play in the Serie A, but Roma and Napoli are the ones fighting for it. I think Roma are going to win it. So Roma and Napoli in the Champions League next season. Empoli are in third. Oh my word. Liverno and Albino Lefe are getting relegated. Where are all those other teams then? Juve in fifth, AC Milan in sixth. Where's Inter? Tenth? Oh my god. Who's in the bottom then? Who's bottom of the league? Palmer down there. Alright, Palmer, how are you doing? Oh my god, look at all these teams. Torino are down here. This is mad. Calgary? Or Cagliari? Carpi are there? Avellino? Sorry, I need to look at Empoli a second. Are they rich? Right, they've got secure finances. Who are doing so well for them? Who's the manager? Luca Vigani. Who's in that team? Ah, oh, of course! I forget, they had Darren Marcus, we sold them to him. They have Alvaldo, Makeda, Lajic playing for them, that's quite cool. Verdi, uh, Catalady, 
Duncan. They got a decent team to be fair, I'm not surprised they're getting in the Europa League. In terms of the La Liga, Real Madrid finished the day off as champions on 92 points, Atletico Madrid in second, Barcelona in third, CD Tenerife, yeah I said that, Tenerife are going in the Champions League. I bloody love it if we get them in Algeria, I'd be mad. Villarreal, Sevilla and Valencia in the Europa League spot, Real Sociedad going down with Record Trivo and Getafe, that's quite, that's quite weird, Who is David Moyes still manager or what? Luis Enrique's manager, so that's crazy. That's, that's a mad thing, isn't it? Las Palmas are there. Athletic Bilbao, Batiste, Deportivo, Osasuna. Let's see who's coming up. So Granada are coming up after getting, I'm guessing, relegating Malaga are coming up. And then I'm, I'm guessing Girona have to play a playoff or something. I don't know, is there a playoff for... No, they've got two more games against Gymnastic and Mallorca. Okay. That's quite that's quite a cool thing, isn't it? Um, in terms of going, wow! Two teams I didn't expect to see down there, Real Zaragoza and SD Ivar going down to the third division. Leganas and Alcoyano going down as well. Real Valladolid still struggling to come up, same as Elche and Ryan Vallecano. I know I have some Scottish fans, believe it or not. Um, Celtic will win the league again, surprise surprise. St Mirren finish in second, Aberdeen in third and Partick Thistle in fourth. Um, in terms of other teams, Livingston are going down, Motherwell are in the playoffs against Inverness, Caffedonian, Thistle. That'd be quite cool to see who goes through. We'll take a look at the Eredivisie simply because our AFC Twente leak, uh, FC Twente link, sorry, Ajax win the title on goal difference. Two goals BSV needed to score to win the title and they couldn't do it. Ajax go through as champions. The Tesse for the final, FC Twente in fourth and fifth respectively. Telstar go down and SXL and Campbell are in the playoff final. So if anybody wanted to know, the FA Cup final consists of QPR versus Manchester United. Mate, I don't care. If QPR win it, that would be the most amazing thing in the world. Even though they beat us, but it would be the most amazing thing in the world. Capital One Cup, Manchester City won it. They beat Arsenal after extra time. Uh, good win for Manchester City, really. It's been quite even in that little spot here. Like, you see Southampton and Bournemouth, Watford, and now Man City winning it. The Europa League final consists of Manchester United versus the team on the side, Liverpool. That's going to be an amazing game, to be honest. That's a really big rival uh, rivalry game in the final of the Europa League. It's a big game. And the Champions League final consists of Manchester City versus Barcelona. Manchester City won it in 2015, and Barca haven't won it in the game or in real life. So they haven't won it since 2011, according to the game, even though they won it this year. But, you know, give it the times. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Man City Barcelona in the final. That's quite a big game, isn't it? And that is it. We say goodbye to another season with... Um, AFC Bournemouth. Um, I'm really happy with how this series is coming along. Five series down now. And we're in the Champions League for the first time in the club's history, so I mean, that's... That's got to mean something, right? I mean, we're doing our job, really, aren't we? Even though we didn't get as far as we wanted to in the Capital One Cup, apparently they don't regard the Capital One Cup. And in terms of the FA Cup, they wanted us to get the semis, which we did. No, sorry, they wanted to get us a sixth round, and we got to the semis. In terms of the Premier League, they wanted us to reach the Europa League qualifying positions, we got the Champions League, so... That's it. In terms of the Europa League, they want us to get to the first round. We got to the second. So, I mean, we've exceeded expectations. In terms of wages and not, we're handling that very nicely. Um, the fans are very happy with the signing of Quintero and Lorik Benteke. So, that's it then. Season 5 of the Cherries Rides is over. I'm so happy to get in the Europa League, no, the Champions League next season. I really hope you enjoy this episode of the Cherries Rise. As I'm recording this, this has been a half an hour episode. So I've got to edit it down. It's probably going to be like 15 minutes, really. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cherries Rise. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And please share it as well. And um, if you didn't, uh, tell me in the comments down below and tell me how I can improve. And I'll see you all very soon for the next episode of the Cherries Rise, which will be in Season 6.